Hey, hi everyone. In this session, we'll see how to reverse words in a sentence in Java. Okay, so let me explain what exactly we are going to do. So let's say we have a string str is equal to we are learning Java. And the requirement is we have to write a Java program so that it gives the output something like this. Uh, Java learning R V. Okay, so we are reversing words in a sentence. So this is the problem statement. So if any sentence is given, we have to just reverse it. So it should start with last word, then second last, third last, so on. So this is the output and this is the input. So we have to write a program. So I hope the problem statement is clear. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay, one thing which is coming to my mind is, this is a string, right? If we want words to be reversed, which means we would like to fetch or extract each word from this string which means we have to extract this last word then second last we have to just fetch from the string and this we can achieve using the str uh, string class provides a split method so we can use a split method to retrieve individual words from a sentence let's see how we can do that so str dot split so as you can see as you can see a split method can reverse a string it splits this string around matches of the given regular expression so we will uh, use the split method and what should be the what should be our uh, parameter for splitting so as i can see these individual words are separated by space so i can say okay it should split by space and uh, split method always returns array of strings so i'll define the string array this is the we define st we define string array all right so by this line we will have an array which will contain these individual words so array index is zero index base right so at a r r zero first word will be there at array index one this second word will be there at array index three sorry zero one two array index two learning and array at array index three java all right so which means we have got a string array which means 50 percent job we have done like uh, we have split the array at least we got individual words in the form of array and one thing you like uh, i would like to uh, mention here like we are splitting on the basis of a space so this is the one way uh, you can specify by splitting space another way you can also provide double slash s backslash s this also denotes, denotes that okay we are trying to split on the basis of a space so this is just extra info all right so what is next next we are trying to print the string print the sentence in the reverse order so i will iterate this array in the reverse order so since array index starts from zero but we don't want to print in this order right we want to print in the reverse order so i will take the last index of the array so what should be the last index of the array Obviously, it should be the length of the string, uh, sorry, length of the array minus one. So I'll use for loop for int i is equal to zero. I will not, so if I use i is equal to zero, it means I would like to traverse this array from a zero index, but that's not our requirement. We are, we want reverse order. So I will not iterate from zero index. I will iterate rather from array dot length array dot length will give us the length of the array and since the index is zero base so i will use minus one because the last index will be the array length array of sorry length of array 
minus 1. After that, i should be greater than or equal to 0 and do uh, and please don't forget to include is equal to 0 because we would like to reach to array index 0 as well and since we are starting from greater number so we will use decrement operator i minus minus so this for loop is responsible for iterating the array in the reverse order all right so we have to and array i will return in indi the individual words right so what exactly we want we want the string in the reverse order so what i'll do we will define one variable let's say a string a result which means we will store our result in this variable a string result is equal to let's say empty initially this result will be empty i will fetch words from the array array initially array length would be 1 2 3 4 4 is the array length minus 1 which means i is equal to 3 i is equal to 3 index means 0 1 2 3 at i is equal to 3 index java word will be there so i will append this java word in the result variable concatenation operator plus we will use and i will store my result into the result variable so result is equal to result plus array of i since in the output we also want spaces right so we will append this with space as well that's it this is the solution no rocket science in that we have used simple one for loop and one statement in that loop and we are done we'll just print the output result i'll print the output and show you the execution then i'll explain one more time so that you can understand you can understand in a better way so let me quickly run this so this is we are learning java right click i will run as java application here you go it's executing now as you can see the initial is the, as you can see the output java learning rv initial input string is we are learning java but the output is java learning br same way we can reverse this string just to make sure let's say uh, i am working on my pc okay so if this is the input string my expectation is pc my on working am i let me run my program here you go pc my on working am i right which means we are able to reverse words in a sentence so what exactly i have done my initial idea was to split the given sentence with a space and by using split method we did that and we know a split method written time is always returns array of strings right so we got the array we are iterating the array using this for loop but in the reverse order so this gives individual array elements we are appending into the result variable and we are also concatenating concatenating space and uh, eventually we are printing the result so it's a pretty simple program easy to understand i hope you have understood the problem and the solution as well all right so that's what i wanted to discuss in this session all right so thank if you, you have so any much questions comment yes please comment in the video and i will read those comments and definitely i will answer for sure and if you like this video please please hit a like button and to watch more similar videos please subscribe by subscribing you will get the notifications directly into your inbox please subscribe to our channel to get recent updates and thank you thank you so much for watching please subscribe keep learning keep growing